subscribers. Uh, I've been watching your live stream recordings on YouTube for about a year. Thank you so much, Josh. Um, and um, I was wondering if you could do a video live stream on the new bend feature in Sheet Metal. Um, yes, yeah, so that's fairly new. Um, and I might be have lost a little bit of touch with some of the uh, new things inside of Fusion just because, uh, like I said, I'm concentrating on a lot of other things. But there is a new feature. So the menus have changed. So now um, you have the sheet metal up there. Um, so this new bend feature, you will find that sitting down here. Um, and um, I think, and I'm not, again, like I haven't dived 100% deep into this, but to me, the bend feature is more uh, valuable if you already have like a flat pattern or you already know your 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 flat stock and you want to start bending that up so let me just show you what i mean by that uh, <laughs> because that may be confusing so if i go in here and um and i'll start let me start a sketch and i'm just gonna do a two-point rectangle here and draw something up like this um if you go in if you use the standard flange tool like this and we create a flange and if you watch some of the live streams again if you go if you go back into this list here and you search sheet you will get nine different sheet metal live streams you can go you can go through right uh, if so you can go in and find out about all these menus here i'm going to skip that so the way that the standard flange tool works is we made this to a flange but then we can click here and uh, if we click on one of these edges it would let us create a flange uh, going through here um, in uh, in all different kind of kind of directions so that's the flange tools what is really what is really great and then of course the whole idea is that you can create a flat pattern from that so you can make it flat and hit okay and now you get the whole sheet flattened down with all the bands and and everything uh, inside of that that's all awesome that's how uh, this tool have been working where I where the new bend tool is is this works great if you had a component in here and you're trying to kind of like wrap something around it that component like you had a little electrical component and you're trying to create a sheet metal enclosure around it um, the standard flange tool works great um, where I think that um, this new bend tool comes in and works better is that if you already have a sheet here let's make it a little bit bigger well, let's just really bothers me not having these fully defined but i'm not going to waste the time um so now it's a bit longer you still have to use a flange, flange tool first you can't have a solid body um, i hope that they change that at some point uh, but for right now you still have to have used the flange body here or flange to make that but now if i go in and i create a new sketch on top here and i go in and create a, uh, a line let's create a couple of lines it is spring in western New York so if you hear rumbling uh, that is motorcycles people are out on their motorcycles um, now the new bend tool works so a little bit different so the the uh, flange tool would now work on this end down here but what with these lines here you can actually go in here and create the bend and select the stationary side will be like the big flat and then the bend line will be that line right there and you will see that it will create that uh bend just like that right click repeat bend stationary and that there so that's kind of the difference between the two um again i really think i am thinking that you for example and i think bryce used this in one of his what's new videos that you have a um, maybe you have an old DXF on AutoCAD drawing of a flat pattern that our customers have given you, and they want to turn it into you want to turn it into a a XF Fusion model that can be bended up. Uh, then you could just import that you could import that um, that DXF. Don't forget that you have the insert commands, so you could import that DXF right there if you were coming out of uh, something like AutoCAD or something. And then uh, you would have all these lines in that in that sketch, and then you could just uh, bend up from from that. Hope that that was good, Josh. Uh, 